Hi, today I have a special recipe for you. This recipe written down here, this was uh, photocopied from the back cover of a book. This is the only recipe I have from any of my grandparents. It's bolo de abobra, it's a zucchini cake. My grandmother, Avoa, used to make this all the time. I mean, I think it was her, at her house, on her table, more often than not. And walking home from school, often I would go to their house while my parents were working, and it was just such a delicious moist cake. And I, you know, it's one of the reasons I've made these videos because I just wish I had more of these. You know, she used to make carn venue the Ayalush, a famous dish to Portugal, and you know, everybody in the family loved it, but it was never memorialized or captured. So today I wanted to share this recipe with you. It's pretty simple. I think it's just such an important part of food, as you could tell from my videos, is the family, the culture. That's why I kind of like going into the history because. Food by itself is good, it's nourishment, we need it, but there, it's so much more than that. It's so much a part of our, everybody's culture. And I enjoy sharing these recipe videos because you get a little bit of culture, you get a little bit of history, and you get to eat the fruits of your labor. Can't beat it. So we'll get started on this simple bolo de abobra. All right, the very first thing you wanna do is soak your raisins in hot water. What my grandmother did is you put one cup of water in a pan, put in your raisins, bring it up to a boil and turn it off right away and let it sit for about five minutes and then drain the water from the raisins. So we need about two cups of grated zucchini. One. Two, and I'll well put the rest in there. So that was just about one, probably about average size zucchini there. Next, I probably have about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of softened butter. So I'll butter my mold. Okay, you want to zest one lemon. I like using fresh nutmeg. Okay, now I'm going to combine my wet ingredients. I have the zucchini, four eggs. Mix those together. Again, all my ingredients are weighed out, so this will go pretty fast. My oven's already preheated to 350 degrees. Now I'm gonna add about two teaspoons of lemon juice, about a half a lemon. The reason you do this is because the recipe does get baking soda, and baking soda always needs an acid in order to react. Okay, now we'll add the lemon zest. One cup of your favorite oil. I'm going to use just like a pure olive oil here. You could use a, any vegetable oil should work. Okay, now in a second bowl, I'm going to mix up all my dry ingredients. You just do this so everything's evenly distributed, especially like the baking soda because it's pretty concentrated. So I'll put my two cups of flour, two cups of sugar, and now you want a half teaspoon of baking soda. You always just want to make sure it's kind of a level teaspoon. And I always like to... Can, just to kind of like put it in a sieve to make sure, see how it just, there's some clumps there. You just want to make sure that's evenly spread out. A simple step, but it's a proper step to take is to make sure that baking soda is evenly distributed. Now I will put a half of a teaspoon of salt. And now I'll put in my cinnamon, one tablespoon. My freshly ground nutmeg. The aroma is already just coming off the dry ingredients. It smells so good. Okay, now we're gonna mix in the nuts. Um, on my grandmother's recipe, sometimes she uses almonds. She had almonds, pecans, and walnuts listed. So whichever your preference is, or you can mix them all together. Mix those into the dry ingredients. Okay, now into the wet ingredients, I'm gonna add the raisins that have been cooling off. They're warm, but they're not hot. We'll also add one tablespoon of vanilla, which is a lot of vanilla, but it's her recipe. Now we're just gonna combine the wet and dry ingredients. All right, put in our dry ingredients. And just blend to combine. And we'll put it right in the oven at 350 degrees. So this cake baked for one hour at 350 degrees. A few ways you could test cakes is put in a toothpick, it comes out clean. Also, a cake like this, again, if you wanna to go to the thickest part of the cake, it should be between 
200 and 205. This is at 207, 208, so that is done. Okay, you wanna let your cake cool off for at least 30 to 40 minutes. All right, now you know how to cook my abuela Anna's bolu de abuela. Give it a try. Go cook for somebody you love.